When you think of New Jersey, what do you think of? Well, it's probably not nature, but today I am going to explore some beautiful New Jersey nature. It's called White Shores and Long Path Loop. So let's go. Hey, I'm Maddie. I'm living in my converted minivan on a quest throughout the US for adventure and beer. And today I'm in New Jersey. These days it's been getting colder and colder, which is not great for me living in a van, but it's sunny, there's plenty of time left in the day, and I'm really excited about this trail. It's supposed to have a rock scramble. It's right on the border of New York and New Jersey. In fact, I my GPS took me the wrong way and I accidentally went to New York for a little bit. so good these rocks over here are so cool they look like um, basalt columns that I saw in Iceland and Northern Ireland I know I already showed you one but I want to point it out again these spires that have formed so cool looking who would have thought you would have seen that in New Jersey I was not expecting this. I thought it might be a little trickle or something. But this is so tall and the rocks are so cool.
Oh, here we go. Uh-oh. Two hours. Maybe that's just if you're really out of shape. I hope. This must be the giant staircase, which is the rock scramble I was talking about. So excited. Back to normal ground. I hope there's more rock scramble coming up later. That was short. All right, we're back to the rocks, but the first thing I gotta do is get over this log. Yes, graceful as ever. Oh, this is it. This is the big rock scramble. Let's go. I'm done with the rock scramble section. Kind of glad about it too, because it was fun at first, but then eventually I was like, okay, enough's enough. Let me walk on flag ground again. So it is 5.10, so it's been an hour and 10 minutes. <coughs> and I think I have about a mile of the trail left. It shouldn't be too bad. So I'm really out of breath because there's been switchbacks on the trail, but I wanted to stop to show you all another really cool rock formation. <sighs> Well, the switchbacks are over, but these stairs are just as killer. I needed a break and this, the pink of the sunset in the sky made the perfect view. 
this was a good hike. It seriously had everything you could want in a hike. A waterfall, rock scrambling, views, a hidden swing. This was a really cool trail. Y'all should come do this. It is 4.1 miles and it took me like three and a half hours. And I'm very sweaty, <laughs> but it's worth it. I had to look it up to make sure. It's called the White Shore and Long Path Loop. This area is called Palisades and it's on the border of New York and New Jersey. Actually, it took two and a half hours because I forgot I started at three, not two. But since I said that, it's been a 15 minute hike through this flat section. So to get back to the parking lot, total end time is two hours and 45 minutes. Oh, first I didn't see my car, I was really scared. There it is. So I definitely want to eat dinner here and soon so I can watch this beautiful sunset and have some sunlight. Luckily I found a water spigot and an electrical plug so I can heat up water because I found these like fancy ramen type things at the grocery store. It was called Stop and Shop. I'm having so much fun that going to all these different grocery stores in the states. It's interesting. But anyway, I just have to hurry my butt up so the sun doesn't set on me. Going with pad thai noodle soup tonight. is definitely like nothing no other pad thai I've really had before but you know what it's warm and it's here it doesn't taste that bad <laughs> uh, honestly it's not great but <laughs> it's something I am freezing I had my puffy coat hat and gloves on out there but still so cold my favorite way to warm up though is driving. I got a nice heated seat and I'll get the heat going out of the vents. I'm headed to a place called Sourland Mountain to spend the night. I have such a headache this morning, but I'm getting on my way. I'm going to Cape May, which is the bottom part in New Jersey, I'm going to a place called Diamond Beach, where there's these clear rocks that you can find. So my head is still hurting really bad. So I thought maybe some coffee would help. So I stopped um, at a random town and it turns out it's Princeton, as in Princeton University. <laughs> and there's all these mansions and fancy stuff all over the place. What a pit stop.
I had an even better idea and got Advil instead of coffee because that'll actually solve the problem. But this place is so fancy. I felt like I was back in Europe again. The building that I thought was probably part of the university even had ivy on it. Maybe that's a requirement to be in the Ivy League. Skeleton. I don't see any clear stones that look like diamonds so far. <laughs> and also I'm freezing. Well, cool beach. Nice to see, but I'm going back to the car. So Diamond Beach was not quite what I expected, but that's okay. It was only 15 minutes out of the way of where I was going because I'm about to take the ferry to Delaware. But I'm trying to have a beer at a restaurant by the ferry before it takes off, and I'm kind of worried about timing, so I'm just gonna head over there right now. Some indoors fun. The restaurant I was going to for that beer is actually on the Delaware side. But the good news is I found a brewery. So the, the hops, the malt makes it sweet, but the way the hops are at it makes it bitter, right? Okay, so making sure I got the science right. Thank you. I'm drinking a West Coast IPA on the East Coast. Feels illegal. That was the smallest beer I've ordered and the fastest I've drank it on this road trip, but I'm worried about missing the ferry. I gotta check in by 5.30 and it's like 5.10 right now, so just nervous. Gotta hurry things up. So the brewery I found was called Gusto. Well, it's probably pronounced Gusto in English, but in Spanish it would be Gusto, as in Mucho Gusto. And they were pretty cool. I really liked the inside of their brewery and I was like, okay, I'm trying to have a beer in all 50 states. What beer do you think represents Kentucky? And after a lot of thinking, uh, one of the bartenders recommended their West Coast IPA. Um, he said the people of New Jersey, some of them are really nice and some of them are a bit not so nice. And this beer has both sweetness and sourness in it, which I definitely tasted. It was a beautiful color too. And I get what he was saying about the people of New Jersey. The guy that pumped my gas earlier, which was an experience all in itself, having someone pump gas for you, I was like, I can do it myself, but okay. Anyway, I know it's just a thing in this state, but anyway, he was super nice, but then sometimes driving, some people are not too nice. I definitely see what he was saying, and I appreciate that, that he would put so much thought into it, and I appreciate the people in New Jersey. When I pictured New Jersey before coming here, I just, I was like, it's just all city. Like, I've never seen anything about New Jersey that wasn't urban. Now seeing it, I'm like, 
there were beautiful fall leaves, rock formations, beaches, forests. It was a great place. And it just goes to show that beautiful nature is everywhere. If this is the first video of mine that you've watched, first of all, thank you, welcome, so glad to have you. If you wanna subscribe, I post new videos every Wednesday afternoon and sometimes a bonus video on Saturday mornings. Just bonus sometimes every now and then. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you. I appreciate the heck out of you. You rock. And I hope all y'all have a wonderful day. See ya. <laughs> Luckily, I found... Magical Swing Champion.